So somebody asked about the Bing Neal syndrome and it sounds fancy, but really it's just central nervous system involvement of Waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia. And the reason it's important is it can come to neuro-ophthalmology. So as you know, the problem in the Waldenstrom is macro big globulins in your blood, emia. So Waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia is a form of lymphoproliferative disorder characterized by both the cells that are abnormal, but also the product of those cells, which is the immunoglobulin. So the combination of immunoglobulin and cellular infiltrate can directly involve the central nervous system, and that mechanism is an infiltrative mechanism. So when we have infiltration either from the lymphoproliferative neoplastic cells, cellular infiltrate, or we can have the immunoglobulin, a macroglobulin causing the problem. So deposits of either the cells or the immunoglobulin can gum up the works. And so that means that it can appear in any part of the eye. And so we got anterior segment manifestations where the lesion is appearing under the conjunctiva or in the eye, either mimicking iritis or vitritis, cellular debris, vitreous cell. And it can be in the choroid, in the retina, or in the optic nerve. If it's in the sheath, it's gonna be in the CSF. And that means you can get neoplastic meningitis. You can get Waldenstrom's in your C CSF. It can cause increased intracranial pressure and lead to papilledema. And you can get ocular motor cranial neuropathies on the efferent side because it is infiltrating the CNS. So the way to do the diagnosis, they have to have Waldenstrom's. You're gonna do an MRI of the head and the orbit. You're gonna do a spinal tap for high volume with cytology, as well as flow cytometry to identify the lymphoproliferative disorder and immunohistochemistry to, to identify the clonality of the lymphoproliferative disorder, as well as the testings for the macroglobulins in both the scan, which is gonna show meningeal enhancement or optic nerve enhancement or cranial nerve enhancement, and the spinal tap is gonna be a CSF pleocytosis with malignant cells or the immunoglobulin present in the CSF. They're gonna have systemic involvement, so that means hematology is gonna to have to look at their blood and their bone marrow, and it can present to us with either localizing findings or non-localizing findings as a result of direct infiltration into the central nervous system by either the cellular material or the immunoglobulin, and we call that Bing Neal.